Greetings, and welcome to The Drop. The Drop was created to showcase the talent and personality of Pickleball's best and brightest. Today's guest is Zach Chambers, but before we meet Zach, let me share with you all our format. During an interview on The Drop, four of our guest fellow players will play a match as we look on. We will interact with the match as a part of our format. Now let's go to the court for another member of our crew, Bob Trout. Uh, I'm Kristen Reinhardt from East Lansing, Michigan. I'm excited to be a part of The Drop. Brian Brooks from Comstock Park, Michigan. Happy to be here. Tommy Calderon from Chelsea, Michigan. I'm ready to get my drop on. <laughs> Adelaide Nelson from Grand Rapids. Excited to be here and play. All right, getting started. We are excited to have Zach Chambers here in the booth with us. Yeah, welcome, Zach. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Left. Are you ready? I'm about to get started right. here. What, what's your early ready? prediction? Who's taking this here, Zach? Yeah, Ooh, I can't go against my partner. Zero, I think Adelaide two. and Tommy got it. That's right. Deep return. That was. I was going to say she almost blew that. <laughs> <laughs> announcer, announcer pressure, right? There you go. <laughs> Don't let me down. <laughs> no pressure at all. So, Zach, tell, tell us a little bit about your pickleball journey. Yeah, um, relatively new to pickleball. So, I've only been playing about a year, year and a half. Um, found it while in Florida on vacation. Saw a bunch of people playing, and I was like, this kind of looks like fun. Let's just test it out. Came back here and uh, got together with some friends, started messing around a little bit, one, and then ran into Bell Knapp. Uh, really, like, this beginning of the summer, that's when I really started started playing hard. It's been fun. Awesome. Now, before pickleball, what, what's been your kind of athletic or sports journey? Then that, or if you have that, right? So. Yeah, so uh, I did server? tennis in high school, uh, went and played in college, went to Davenport, um, played a couple years there, and after that kind of took one a break, zero, did some coaching two. for some tennis, and then um, really just stepped away from the game a little bit, and then found pickleball, started working back into a, a paddle sport, and it's been nice. Side out. What have you enjoyed most about pickleball? I mean, obviously getting into the play, feeling that, uh, as everyone says, the addiction, right? Yeah. But what, what draws Zero, you to pickleball one, one. more than anything else? It's more of a social event. It's just you get out there, you hang with friends. Um, you know, I mean, it's competitive, but it's also at a, a relaxed environment. Um, I love the social part of it, just talking, making jokes, um, especially when you get a good group out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, are you are you are you a trash talk player? Do you, do you get the talking going on the court off the court or? Uh, you know, I don't normally start it, but if someone wants to join, I I can throw it around with the best of them. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, <laughs> Savage. <finish. laughs> yeah, Brian Brian faked uh, faked Bush and Tommy and just <laughs> split the opening there. Oh, Too one. easy. One, one. Fantastic lob. Oh, <laughs> nice. <Ooh>. Point. <laughs> Good call, Tommy. Good call. There's a communication error on that one. Great lob. Okay, we are three, one, one. It's a fun game so far. Yeah. Sure. Point. I feel like she's letting me down here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Note, note for next time uh, when, when Adeline will get a, a ear, an earpiece in there for Zach so she, Adeline can hear the coaching That's, that's what I got to happen right now. I got to tell her what to do. <laughs> Second server. No, that was a good one there, pushing him back. Oh, man. So, Zach, you've been playing for a little bit. Oh, wow. um, have you gotten into the scene a little bit in terms of tournaments or things like that? Uh, I've been starting to do a couple tournaments. first tournament I did uh, was Boy. the Salty Elf about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, joined my brother, who also played in college tennis, and we had no idea kind of where to put ourselves. So we uh, entered in pretty low, won the tournament pretty easily, and – Knew from there, I was like, well, that's not my rating. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, what's pretty low? Logo. We were um, in the 3-5, generously taking it to them. So <laughs> it was uh, it was a kind of a, hey, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. This is kind of the first thing I'm getting into it and didn't know what to do. Pitch, pitchforks and rioting after you guys went through that probably. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we I think we ended up like uh, maybe dropping one oh. game. It was about it. <laughs> oh. Still fine. I mean, that's that's the hardest thing when you get started where you're supposed to be. Right? Yeah, I mean, you got so. no idea. Just I don't know how good I am compared to anybody else. So Two, five, one. Uh, swing away. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Did you end up playing the Salt TL for other tournaments this year? I did. I played um, so played five zero with the Ryan Schmid. Um, him and I took silver. Nice. Into that, so it was a good good showing. Absolutely. Adeline and I uh, played five zero mixed and two, five, two. Um, didn't medal, but. Played pretty well. Nice. So with your tennis background and different sports, um, like 
how have you felt the the transition to pickleball? You are using a lot of your tennis strokes and skills. You're learning some new things, obviously. Yeah, um, it's. I mean, the touch is there from tennis. You got to have soft hands at times, but um, I can tell when I get under pressure. My my go to my release is to swing. So I, I use power to kind of get myself out of trouble. I use power when I'm uncomfortable. Um, that's a, a challenge that's been for me to really soften it up and go back to the dinks, go back to the drops and resets. Okay. So, Noah, you were at doubles or both singles and doubles? Oh, yeah, tennis? we did both. Um, did singles and doubles. Yep. Yeah. Did you did you have a preference? And I mean, like, do you do singles pickleball or are you, are you in love with the doubles <laughs> aspect? I have not. I think that kissed the post too. Five, five, two. Tied it up. So now we've been a little bit pickleball focused here, Zach. But what, what else? Oh, Ooh. <laughs> that was a body bag. What, what else? Uh, what other interests do you have? Uh, other things you got going on in uh, Zach life? Oh, um, Zach life. I love golfing. Um, golf's kind of been my, my release after college tennis. Uh, get into a league. Start playing. I love it. It's so much fun. Nice. So what paddle are you playing with, Zach? What do you like about it? Have you tried other things too? Yeah, so I have not tried a lot of paddles. I got into the Electrum from a friend. Um, they just didn't like it. They were like, hey, do you want it? I was still relatively new, so I didn't have any knowledge of what different paddles were. Um, I got it, decided I liked it, so I've been kind of sticking out with that one for a little while. It's hard to change it up once you find something you it, like. it is, and it allows me to hit with some power too. It's, um, I feel like it gives me... Good accuracy, but also um, a lot of pop off the paddle, so it's nice. Yeah. I think Adam was looking there for okay. some encouragement. <laughs> we uh we got a we got a break here at uh, the halfway point, so we'll kick it back to Bob and the uh, the crew on the court. We are at eight, uh, halfway through. Uh, what are some things that are coming up here? Oh, we got them right where we want them. <laughs> we like to. The, we're all about the chase. So we like been down a little bit, and then the second half we're just okay. gonna. Okay. So what about what about you guys? Staying consistent, keeping the ball in play, it, letting you, them make the mistakes. Does your strategy change from when you're behind or when you're ahead? No. Just stick to our game plan. Yeah. It'll work. We're confident in our. <laughs> no good drop. To set Brian up. Okay. Thank you. Let's move on. Like the spice from Mr. Uh, Calderon there. Yeah. <laughs> Confidence. Yeah, I love so. it. We did have him on episode four here, and he he does he did say he it's never over till it's over. He he does like that. Uh, He's got a point. That persistence. It's good. Okay. On my left, five Let's eight see. one. Holy yes. reset session. Man, <laughs> so consistent, so good. I, I really thought Ad Adeline set Tommy up so well with that first one, and then Kristen just kept putting him back. I think he's afraid to take it to his partner, that's why. If, if I feel here again. <laughs> it's going too easy on her. Go ahead, Bob. If I could sit in there. One of the things that we, I talk about in some of our lessons is if somebody's hitting one hard, about the second or third one, there's a good chance to let it fly. Because it seems like people gear up a little bit more each time and uh, uh, it seemed to happen there a little bit ago. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're back in. Uh, we're at 5 8 2. Oh, that was nice. Good drop. Great cut a drop. It feels like when we stop talking, Adela makes you more and more proud. You know, those those shots Six are going eight, in two. and doing good. She knows I'm judging her. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the fun of it too. I the uh, I mean, you can tell the friendships and, yep. and, and just it's support. You know, it's just uh, you know competitive love, right? Right. Eight six one. Do you plan on doing some more mixed tournaments with her this year when you're looking at, you know, maybe uh, 
Beer City or some of the other tournaments? Oh, yeah. We're, we're ready to go. Um, we're playing the Midwest Invitational in a couple months, and then um, definitely looking to do state Take games in Beer two. City. Um, for sure, rock this summer with a couple tournaments and hopefully hopefully have some success. No, oh, fantastic. So what are you working on in your game right now, Zach? How are you trying to get better and be more competitive? Yeah, I'm trying to trying to dial in the dinking a little bit more. Um, just to stay more consistent, be able to grind points out. Um, I think it's really important to just have the patience to, and the willingness really to grind points. Mm -hmm. um, you get impatient, you start speeding up balls that maybe aren't necessary or even yeah, bad yeah. balls uh, if you're just impatient with it. So that's really been kind of my, over this winter, really taking a second and Six, nine, trying, to, trying to work on the dinks. Now you have that tennis experience and some of the team sport, and you've been playing with Adeline a little more consistently. Do you Second do you server? feel like the more you get to play with consistent partners, that you do feel some of like that communication, knowing where they're going to be? Do you feel the benefits of Six, that nine, when you two. maybe play with different partners? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, if you're playing with the same person over and over, you you understand what their mindset is, what their um, better shots are, kind of what they they do when they get in trouble. Um, so I, I know, for instance, when Adeline gets in trouble, she likes to lob. I know it's coming, so you know he can prepare for it. So it's one of those things you just have familiarity with somebody. You're able to you know, kind of read off of them a little bit better. Yeah, for sure. I mean, point. They all are approaching the net like it was over for a second there. <laughs> Ten six one. I'm not liking my prediction right now. <laughs> it's not over until it's over. Oh. Over. Ten six two. So uh, let's soak this in for a few minutes and see if we can urge a comeback. Brian says no. Point. Great point. Shut that down quick. It is amazing that with like when you have players that power like two. just that one ball that's in that put down range, right? It's just kind of over, isn't it? Brian's just got easy power. I mean, this just doesn't swing hard. Doesn't have to hold, use a whole lot of uh, muscles. It's just easy power with his shots. Oh, nice point. Side out. Yes. All right, here's the comeback time right here. Six, 11, one. Let's go. Brian's shots are so deceptive at times, too. Very, yep. He, he just holds it and looks flat. And you just don't know what you're getting into. Oh, He's got a great touch. That was a really good Just not get. there. Second server? <laughs> just not there. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like I, I jinxed him there. Second server that was my bad, Brian. The commentator's <laughs> curse. Yeah. Zach, I think we found another, like, if you want to be a third person, you know, Pardon? when we get back into the live streaming and whatnot, <laughs> I, you can do the live coaching, you know, the live jinxing do of it. fellow Let's players. Let's do it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Seven, eleven, That's good one. stuff. Nice. Point. They're grinding back in here. Such tight dinks. Eight, eleven, one. Caught the lob and in trouble too. <laughs> it's always there. Uh, I wish ricochets that landed in were good. That's how we play table tennis at my Eight house. Yeah. Unintentional ricochet that goes in is good. The indoor ceilings are not high enough for her. <laughs> do you have aspirations to uh, you know, continue to do this like a little more than rec? Do you have professional aspirations at this point, or just continue just to get better? Um. You know, if, if the opportunity presented itself, I think I would I would enjoy uh, doing a little traveling and playing. But um, I think those years are probably behind me. Uh, if I would have started this, you know, ten years ago, I think I would have had a a shot at it. But um, I think those years might be behind me. So I'm 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 happy with rec. Just trying to see how good I can get it and um, be competitive in tournaments that are local and um, maybe occasionally experience getting out there. But who knows? You know? Yeah, absolutely. You have 10. 
10, 11, 2. Oh, wow. Here we go. Right back in it. <laughs> Just <Yeah>. missed it. <laughs> Just missed it. What, what's that? What's that line from Major League? Just a bit outside. <laughs> Just a bit outside. <laughs> Eleven, ten, one. Hey, you miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't take, so that, you gotta go for it. That's right. Is that Gretzky? Right? That is. Yeah, there you go. Second server. I mean, if you're gonna miss, miss big, I guess, right? You gotta go for you it. Gotta go for it. Eleven, ten, two. Great shot. Point. Just some Christian's thirds and well resets. Oh, sick. unbelievable. Yep. Side out. Come on. All right, coaching moment, Zach, here. What what do they need 10, to do 12, different two. or anything here as the they got two serve sets here? I think Tommy needs to be a little more aggressive here. Like he needs to look for his opportunity and go after one. Oh. Or just grind it out. Or just grind that out, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to put yourself into the point when people are hitting such tight dinks and drops. 11, 12, yep, one. absolutely. There you go. Oh. Wow, there it is. Point. Tommy will be proud of himself watching that tape of hitting a third shot <laughs> drop as well. 12, 12, one. Adeline making the safe play to not run into the wall Second on that serve. really good overhead by Brian. <laughs> Safety first, everyone. 12, 12, <laughs> 2. <laughs> Promote the safety. One too, many, one too many thirds. From no, this is, games, this is a fun tight match. Yeah. 12, 12, 1. Tommy just generates so much English off that paddle, too. Yeah, he's got that, that wrist action from, from tennis. He can get so much topspin on there. Yeah, it's kicking well, hard. Two. It's crazy long, too, for that coverage. Being super athletic doesn't hurt either. <laughs> right, <Yeah>. exactly. <laughs> Side out. When we, I mean, we, we saw some of your play earlier, too, Zach, and you, you play big on the court, and you take your opportunities, and you got some length yourself 12, 12, that you one. like to use. It, strategically, you watch the plays here, but wh what's your favorite part, you know, strategy-wise, of getting in and inserting yourself? Oh, I, if, I mean, if you're looking at my, like, ideal game for me, uh, I like fast pace. I like to just kind of bang back and forth. I think 13, 12, the longer one. I have to think about the shot, the worse I'm going to hit it. <laughs> it's, just, it's not going to end up well for me. Let the reactions take over, and then you're good. Oh, got it. <laughs> Second server. I actually think Adeline and Tommy have the lead. They do. 13, 12, 2. Side out. Twelve, thirteen, one. That's, that's so good. That's Great so step in. That is really good. Tied it up. I feel like in a tight match, 13, late game 13, two. Two. People tend to play a little more conservatively. Early in the match, it's easier to justify yep. like yep. high aggression. My correction there, I called the wrong. It, you were first server, so it's now to two. Okay, so we are at 13, 13, two. Well, that went out. Oh, we got a match point, Zach. <coughs> we need a deep return here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're at match point at 14, 13, 1. One point saved. That's right. Second serve. 
Fourteen, thirteen, two. That's oh tough. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 That's way too tough. That was a fun End match. Game. That was great. That was good. Bob, it's uh, down to you when you're ready. Okay. Uh, a couple times, if I remember, you didn't, you didn't switch. What? Yeah, what? Switched a couple. We switched. I don't know. There were a couple. Of, there were a couple times over here where you were on the left side yeah. and you didn't switch in the way. What? What? Uh, plays into that? Uh, sometimes it's um, when you, the majority of the time, if you do a switch and then it's like you pause, it's like, all right, maybe they're going to hit it straight to me because uh, they're trying to hit it in the opening. So it's a little bit of a fake. Okay. A little deception. Anything else? Do you ever, do you ever switch or not switch based on who's a, you know, cross court or straight across? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. I would say specific, specifically in mixed, I am typically on the run. So we'll s stack and switch, yep. having me over here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the normal. Yeah, if there are times when maybe you don't want to. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Um. Well, to add on, like if the other team starts to go on like a little bit of a run, it's just good just to switch up your strategy for one two points. Okay. Get back into the groove. Okay. You ever do the? Uh, Fake out. Fake yeah. yeah. I think that's good because, you know, you got to hold in the middle for a while to get, for your partner to get up. And like I mentioned earlier, you know, someone is just assumes you're doing it at the same time and you can ca catch them kind of sleeping maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you very much. That uh, finishes our game 15 13. Yeah. Great game. Great game. Thanks, Bob. Well, Zach, it's been a pleasure having you on the drop. Uh, Pat, do you have any final questions for Zach or any final thoughts, Zach? Go ahead. I was just going to say I appreciate you guys having me on, having us out here. Uh, it's been a great experience. Yeah, thanks so much, Zach. It's been great having you. Yeah, pleasure having you. So this has been The Drop, Episode 5. Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time with five new players at a different venue maybe indeed. So thanks, and see you next time.